Hello and welcome, Chef Pennington here in Austin, Texas, where we bring flavor to the table and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We are gonna take a chicken breast, we're gonna transform it into something amazing. You guys have probably heard about the Hasselback potato, which is from Sweden. It's been around since 1950s, so it's not a new dish. Some people are just seeing it for the first time, others have seen it done many times over. So we're just gonna take the trip and move on to the chicken breast. You know, there's always, we're always looking for something new to do with the chicken breast, because they can be a little bit boring, it's usually the 350 into an oven, cook it till it's done, 165 degree internal temperature. That's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something very similar, but I'm gonna show you actually the tricks to make it extra mm -hmm. juicy and moist, which is exactly what we want. Your children are gonna like it, which is even better. We get to use cheese. We're totally winning right there. If this is your all's first time visiting us, go ahead and hit the subscribe mm -hmm. button and the bell so you know whenever we post our next videos. And let's get started, y'all. Let's do it. All right, folks, let's take a look at our ingredients here. We got some chicken breast, we got a little bit of turmeric, which is awesome. We got some garlic salt, some chipotle, some good olive oil, some fresh thyme, which chicken loves, and any cheese you guys like. And we're going to use the Instant Pot, and we're going to use the oven. So we're battling today. We're seeing which one turns out better and which one you think looks better. They're both going to turn out great. I'll give you a little heads up there. We're going to make a little bit of cilantro lime rice, which is a really delicious way to make rice taste a little bit more because rice can be a little bit boring. So far as the rice, that's one cup of rice to two cups of water. So we're doing a one to two ratio. Usually rice works like that. I'm using a long grain rice. I'm going to have all the information, everything you guys need on our website with step by step and some other tips about chicken cookery. So I, for the sake of the test, I made sure that the seasoning, the herbs, I've, I did two sets. So there's one just for the Instant Pot, one just for the roast chicken. All right, so we got that together. Now inspect your chicken breast, make sure it doesn't have any little pieces of fat or anything that would be gross or <laughs> not good mouthfeel. Usually there's a little something to trim up here. So as I'm cutting here, notice that the knife is at an angle. This is gonna help with the presentation and it helps everything stay in a little bit nicer than just a straight down cut. So that's up to you. And another thing to pay attention to is how thick the cuts are. If you make too many cuts and they're too close together, kind of like a real Hasselback potato, it's gonna cook weird. It's gonna dry out, it's not gonna be the way to go. So we're gonna get into a plastic bag and then we're gonna add our seasoning and we're gonna let it hang out for a little bit. Now this is not one of those two hours overnight, 12 hour things, this is a lot of flavor there in that little bit of marinade. So this is literally, you could put it in the bag, do that and turn around and start cooking. So there's none of that matter of You don't even have to wait five minutes, literally just once it gets on there, it's good to go. So I use parchment paper in my roasting rack. And the reason for that is we have turmeric. Turmeric is gonna bring color and flavor to the table, but it stains stuff too. So you could omit that if you don't like the idea of it, but it does add a nice pretty color. So we're using some delicious pimento cheese here. I use the jalapeno, I like a little spiciness. You can use whatever. I do have a recipe on our website for homemade pimento cheese, which is way better than the stuff you buy in the store. You might wanna check that out, there'll be a link below. And I just realized that's enough cheese for that one. So we're gonna put in a 325 degree oven, not 350. It's a softer, more gentle cooking process. You usually hear 350, but trust me, 325, we're gonna let it go until it's done. It's gonna take about 17 to 19 minutes. It's right in that area. So Instapot time. That's one full cup of water. We're using the little rack. It's gonna make it easy to get out. And you don't want the water to mess up the presentation of the chicken breast. Make sure you have the seal on, super important people. And make sure it's on sealing. I love the Instapot. I don't know if y'all have done the Instapot thing yet. I'm guessing probably if you're watching this video, it's so good. So we're using normal heat, high pressure, seven minutes. And this thing is gonna take about eight minutes to come to pressure. And then it's gonna cook for that entire uh, seven minutes. And then it's gonna, you're going to release the pressure and let it hang out inside for about another six, seven minutes. And that's going to be the magic. So we're just finishing off our rice there. Get a squeeze of some fresh lime juice right there. The zest. We love butter with rice, right? Here's a cool technique. We're taking an onion and just grating it, which is a nice texture. It's a little bit more fresh and vibrant instead of letting it saute. So that's a cool way to bring your rice up to a new level. And we're going to add some cilantro. Little or as much as you like. That's really the beauty of the rice dish. Everything needs a little salt, it brings flavor. And then just mix it together and that's a done product. Put the lid back on it, let it hang out until we're time. Ooh, look at that. This is a beautiful chicken breast, people. 
I really was surprised how delicious it was the first time I made this. It takes something that's technically boring, a chicken breast, and we're bringing it to life. So let's take a look at the Instapot did. When you guys decide which one you think is better, I'd like you to comment below and tell me which you thought the Instapot looked better or the roast chicken. I like both of them. I'm kind of impartial. Um, if I had a favorite, probably the Instapot just because it was super easy. One pot, way easier to clean up. Roasting rack, you know, plus the cookie sheet. It's more cleanup, so. And they both turn out quite beautifully. So just a little bit of rice, boom, you could hit it with a little bit of parsley or cilantro to give it a little bit of color. So let me know, A or B, which one do you think is the Instapot and which one do you think is the one from the roasted in the oven? I'll leave a comment below in the description so you guys can go down there and tell A or B. And I'd like to know which one you think is better. Take a little taste. You guys get to see what it looks like when it's done on the inside. That just wants to fall apart. I mean, that's really delicious chicken you could shred that so easily and it was so good i mean the flavor unbelievable guys such a happy little experiment this turned out to be wonderful battle of chicken breast and that's going to be that folks come join us on social media we'd love to have you guys all the links are going to be below if this is your first time visiting us please subscribe i'm going to have a step-by-step -step instructions and some more information to check and cookery below and here's some other posts of ours talking about chicken. Be sure to check those out, guys. And y'all have the best. Take care.